It's the first final of the 2017 NCHA Super Stakes and I'm here with the winner of the Limited Open Classic, Hayden Upton, who rode Superfly and scored a 222. Congratulations to you, Hayden. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. A super run on Superfly. How does it feel right now to, to be you in this position? Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. It's been a, it feels like a while coming, but it feels like uh, all the pieces that I've been trying to put together all got put together tonight, so it's really good. Well, you've been knocking on the door for a while. There have been, you know, a few finals opportunities, and now you, you get to make good. I mean, there's not many people who've won a title in the Will Rogers. Yeah, no, I'm very grateful. It's, it feels great. It feels really good. So, the seven in the final, you were first out. Tell us about your game plan. Uh, honestly, the biggest game plan uh, tonight was just to cut cut better cattle for the horse. I've been, when I was telling my help, and I want to thank my help, they've been great, um, but I, I was telling my help earlier this week that when these cattle are tough like this, my eye is drawn to the type of cows you might cut on a three-year-old, and, and I'm just not familiar enough or um, in, in this moment, at this level, in this class, trying to win a final. And, I, and my goal was to cut different cattle, and, uh, and that's what we did tonight, and, and it shows uh, why we should do that more often. So what would you say would be different about three-year-old cattle to cattle for older horses? Well, just when you need to go mark 19s in the go-rounds, you know, as opposed to 16s. And, and um, I haven't had that much experience on, on a five-year-old of this calibre. And, uh, and I've just been cutting the wrong cows. My eyes, I told Jesse Lennox tonight, I said, man, I'm more confused watching cows tonight than I've ever been because I kept getting drawn to the, to the wrong type of cattle, you know. And, yeah. I bet a lot of people will find that really helpful. Um, now, I hear you also had a bit of a strange change of strategy with your shirt. Tell us about that. <laughs> well, I, uh, I, I usually wear a blue shirt, it seems like, so I wore a black shirt tonight, and uh, maybe black's the way to go. Yep. Sounds like it. Now, tell us about the horse, because you've had this horse all the way through? Yes. Yep. He, uh, this horse belongs to Brett and Shay Johnson, and uh, I want to give a very special thanks to both of them um, for their support, for the opportunity to ride, train, etc. with this horse. And... Um, He's just taught me so much, you know, and it's been such a progression and I, I apologise to him for that, the horse, because it's like, it just seems like he's like, well, you fi finally you caught up tonight, thank you. But, um, yeah, he's just, uh, he's just a great horse. He mo he's a big horse, he can move so cool, um, his timing with a cow has gotten so much better this year, he's quicker and um, he's just a pleasure to, I mean, he's just a pleasure to have. So I take it you're going to continue to show this horse? You bet, yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, what other horses have you got for this event, for the show? Well, I've got some um, some four-year-olds um, that I'm pretty excited about. I just started riding some horses for uh, Wendell and Barbara Rita and um, some warbird dogs, and I'm very excited about those. And um, so, yeah, it's nice to... Uh, this is the first time I've ever come to this event and had more than one or two horses to ride, so it's pretty exciting to, to know I've been down there a couple of times and we've still got the four-year-olds to go, so... Yeah. So can you describe your run to us at all? Do you remember much of it? Yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to start with, um, there was a grey uh, slick neck cow and uh, she was right on the back fence. And I had a moment when I walked in there and Corey said, she's on the back fence. And I thought, ah, should I walk down there and dig her out? But um, that was also part of, you know, just a learning process. Uh, I think I've had a, I think I've made the mistake in the past of not taking enough cattle up and not getting up out of the herd so I thought well if I go and dig this cow off the back fence it'll get a bunch of cattle up there and get her bump way up on top and that got my run started um, and then uh, my second cow was good and um, and then I turned around and the cow we probably thought was the most challenge was a low bridge red mott and uh, and she just finished my run. Well it was a convincing win because I think you were some um, seven points ahead of the second place go? Well. I'm just pleased to be number one. I don't mind. Yeah. You don't mind by how much, as long as it's number one. So you come home with about um, four, or a bit over four thousand, taking your winnings to about 165 approximately. Feel good? Yeah, it feels great. Just to have, just to, uh, you know, that's all good and well, but just to, just to have it feel like it's all come together feels really good. Best of luck with the rest of your events. Thanks, Hayden. Thank you. Thank you.